What's going on guys? It's Brandon back here again today for another BFR. So after the 6 out of 7, or winning 6 out of 7, the Hawks look for 7 out of 8. They don't get it. As for the third time this season, the final score is 2-1 against LA, this time not in the Hawks' favor. Game 45 versus the LA Kings in Chicago was played at 6 p.m. on January 22nd. The Hawks lose 2-1. Funny enough, they beat LA in LA 2-1, then LA beat them here 2-1 in overtime last time, and now they just beat them 2-1 in regulation. The Hawks go to 14-27-4. Mitchell was in, Phillips was out. Shots were 27-19 LA, hits were 27-16 Chicago, faceoffs were 26-17 Chicago. On the power play, Chicago goes 0 for 2, excuse me, and LA goes 0 for 0 because they didn't have one. Um, Bulls and Blackhawks tonight was happening. There were, there were former uh, Bulls players in the house. LA and Chicago uh, had a moment of silence for the nightclub shooting that happened in LA, so that was a nice gesture for the Blackhawks to do for the visiting LA team as there was a nightclub shooting. Um, I don't know all the details. I just remember hearing about it on the news uh, the, the more the the neck the morning after it happened, which was a few night, which was a few uh, one or two ago now. So um, yeah, so my condolences to anyone in that was involved in that shooting and once again we pray for safety. Uh, Morozik saves twenty five out of twenty seven. Copley saves eighteen out of nineteen. Copley actually played the night pri prior. He started against Nashville. However, he got pulled thirty nine seconds in because he allowed two goals, which I really don't. Th one of them, the second one, was completely awful. The first one I can give him. The second one, I don't know how he let that one in. But L A, you can tell, was protecting him tonight. L A was not allowing the Hawks to get chances on net. And in the first, uh, Tyler Johnson stripped, and there's no call. And um, there were not many shots at all. It was a slow, uh, cautious game. Both teams on on back to back, so it was pretty just slow. Uh, Fiala's denied them on the break, and then at 10:31, after T Tyler Johnson gets tripped, there's no call, and then Fiala's denied on the break. Then well, as he's denied on the break, he his stick goes right into Mitchell's face, and there's no call on that either, so two penalties that went on cold, and the rebound of that breakaway at 10.31 goes in from um, Jarrett Anderson Dolan to make uh, his fourth of the season from Fiala to make it one nothing. The Hawks are furious at that, that that was allowed a goal, and so it's one nothing LA. Uh, Hawks, have the, Hawks have their first shot 15 minutes in, and at 5.27, Chicago and LA each take uh, coincidental minor penalties. It's Reese Johnson for the Hawks and Bjornfoot for the Kings for roughing. Uh, Kapari's taken down, and there's no call. Kopitar's denied. Shots were 9-3 to three LA at the end of the first, as there was a little 4-on-4 four four in there. We go to the second period, where Ian Mitchell has a cut under his eye from the high stick. Tyler Johnson was not on the bench. Seth Jones was limping a little, and by the end of the period, Taze was also limping. So, very brutal game for the Hawks tonight, or last night. Um... There wasn't really much that happened. Uh, 1353, it's in Los Angeles goal to Jared Anderson. Dolan is second of the game, fifth of the season from Fiala and Dowdy to make it 2 0. Turcotte has stopped in his first game up from the Miners this season. Alex Turcotte was a very highly thought of prospect. Injuries have held him back. Hopefully, he can get into the groove and start being a part of this team. So, Kempe is denied. Fiala has a break that's denied. And we go to the third, where LA has controlled the game completely. Uh, 939, Los Angeles penalty to Roy for cross checking, which would be killed. Bill Wennington, one of, one of the big members of the 90s Bulls, was in the booth to start. He was, grew, up, grew up in Montreal, grew up playing hockey before playing basketball. Uh, Lemieux is stopped. Hawks were pressuring late. Domi's denied. Morozik making some good saves. Then at 3.15, it's a Chicago goal to Ian Mitchell, his first of the season from Domi and Athanasiu to make it 2-1. The Kings have been out there for almost two minutes when they had been scored. Like they were, And it also happened because of a bad icing call on L.A. that led to it. Um, but the, And then Hawks pulled the goalie at 1 minute and 56 seconds. Ayafalo and Arvidsson missed open nets. And the Hawks come right back down the ice. They call a timeout after, as Doughty takes a penalty at 22.3 seconds for hooking, which he was not happy about either. So the Hawks have that timeout. They get their players out there. They get a few chances on net. However, they cannot score as L.A. wins this one 2-1. to one. And now the West Coast trip of Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton. Late games. It's going to be a miserable week for me, especially during one of my harder weeks of school this year right now. So uh, we'll get through them, though. We always do. And um, nothing much to do with nothing uh, much changing in the standings. L.A. and Edmonton switch. 
and that's actually the only switch. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I want um I want to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.